Hey guys, Sam here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can make yourself your very own Steven Universe shield for your Steven Universe plushie. Now, um, these ingredients for your Steven Universe plushie is, uh, or shield for your Steven Universe plushie, uh, are very simple. You're going to need pink felt, you're also going to need some thread that is a purplish pink. Now it has to be this purplish pink. Um, you can't use the white. I'll tell you this later. You're also going to need scissors and a needle. Um, now be very careful with scissors and needles. They are very pointy and very sharp and you can hurt yourself very bad and cut yourself. So make sure to be careful. But uh, luckily I've been doing this for a while that I'm old enough to be able to handle scissors and a needle. So you're also going to need cardboard. Now the cardboard isn't useful. Um, you don't have to use the cardboard. But I'll tell you what the cardboard is used for later. Alright, so you want to take your pink thread. Oh, not thread. Um, felt. And you uh, basically just want to measure it to see how big you actually want the shield to be. So, I'm going to measure it mine real quick. So, let's see if I just cut it a little more. Let's see. And, alright, that should be a perfect size for my Steven Universe plushie. Now, it doesn't have to be the same size as mine. Um, whatever size your Steven Universe plushie is, or if you want it super big, like like the big Steven Universe shield, um, then you can do that one, but I'm doing the little shield first. Um, so you take this piece and you kind of just lay it there, you know, we'll be using that later. Now you take your thread, and you get about, I don't know, maybe as long as your leg or something like going from your toe all the way to your leg it's going to be super long from here to all the way over here um, because we're going to be needing a lot of thread so now uh, but don't use the whole thing you don't want to use too much and have a lot left over so now you want to thread your needle and tie the knot off. You want to even the sides and tie the knot off. I'm not really showing this part because the thread is kind of hard to see on the camera. But you want to tie the knot off. And if you don't know how to do that, then I can show you. Basically, you take the end of it, but don't go too low or too high. You wrap it around your finger or your thumb. And then you grab on to it, and then you just tie, the, uh, put the end through the loop, and then pull, and it should be made a knot. Um, but if it doesn't, just try again, and you should get it. And then after you've made a knot, um, just do it again until you have uh, a big knot, but not too big. You don't want to use all the thread on the knot. Alright, that's, that's pretty good, nope, alright, I gotta try this again, alright, so I'm gonna pause the camera until I get this, oh, wait, nope, I got it already, alright, now that all my knots are linked together, it should have a big enough knot, now what you wanna do, is you wanna start at the middle, and with the knot piece, Okay, you see the knot? Um, you want to go right through the middle to where the knot would be at the front. So you have that big rose in the middle. So there we go. And then you go up right back where that knot is. See? Right back, right up where the knot is. And then you just pull it through 
and then you start making a circle around and I'll show you how to do that you kind of just make your design with your thread and then you just put it back through where it came from and then you just keep doing that and then there you go and then you just make a little spiraling thing with it and then you should you should have your Steven Universe shield and I'm gonna pause it until mine is done so yeah okay so I'm now finished with my design so oh alright so now you cut it off and when you're finished it should look something like this so now Steven has a shield now if that's all you want for your shield then you can leave now I thought the cardboard would be needed but I guess not but for the people who are still watching and want to do stuff with the cardboard the cardboard is not completely needed so if you don't have cardboard do not worry um so basically you just cut out with cardboard the same size and shape as your shield just like this and glue it on and then there you go you got a nice shield nice shield that won't bend unless you make it bend and it won't flop around and then if you really want you can put velcro there so Steven can hold it so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video um if you did like this tutorial make sure to let me know by leaving a like and if you want to see another tutorial for something like pulled steel, let me know because I have extra cardboard, a lot of felt, and a love for sewing. So, I guess I don't really know how to do these. But I guess just say I'm signing off and goodbye.